going on YouTube family? So I'm here for another, well, I have another update for y'all. Now I'm here for, decided to come outside for a second. King is in the shower. He just got up. So he's in the shower, but I'm here to do another video for y'all. So I have some news um, in regards of the baby. So yeah, just came back from my doctor's appointment and it's looking like baby Duke gonna probably come a little sooner than I expected. Um, they did my measurement today and they feel that he's measuring a little bit too big. So when I go back for my next appointment, which is week after next, they're going to do, I forgot what they call it, a, um, a birth scan or growth scan or something like that to determine what they want to do. So I've never had a C-section before. Um, I've always delivered all of my children um, vaginal so yeah found that out today um, y'all can see my stomach is big but I mean to me it's not that big I don't know y'all tell me it's not that big to me but the doctor is, is saying because right now I'm currently 29 weeks so yeah saying that he's measuring at 32 weeks um so yeah <laughs> that was some you know news today um of course king was not able to go with me because we're still they're only allowing so many people in there at a time but yeah baby duke is measuring at 32 weeks and with our biggest son our mj was our biggest baby he was nine pounds and five ounces so yeah that was my biggest baby and then bubba aka amir um was nine pounds and one ounces so they already know that i have big babies um but they're <laughs> thinking that he's going to be nine something okay y'all i don't know about pushing out <laughs> no baby more than 9195 like I don't know <laughs> so yeah I will definitely keep you guys updated as far as um what's going to happen when I go back to my next appointment but <sighs> pretty much just want to give y'all a quick update um, on that waiting for Kane to get out the shower to see if he's going to jump on here so we can also announce the gen well y'all know the gender but announce the name of the baby so y'all can know um so stay tuned for that a couple of days later y'all well actually the next day i don't know why i said a couple of days later so i am about to go into family dollar got to pick up some uh garbage bags got my little noodle bug with me haven't she haven't been out the house since the whole pandemic y'all and when i say i know this is weird for her because my baby been stuck in the house since oh my face is getting fat fat but yeah so let me get my mask because uh it's still a, uh the covid is still real okay So yeah, King was too tired to get on yesterday. Y'all know he works midnights. So he didn't get on, but we are out here. About to get these garbage bags and probably try to see if there's some anything else in the family dollar that I can grab. Y'all know I like a bargain. Like I'm not big on spending a whole bunch of money. I'm just not big on it. I'm just gonna put this like this. Oh, it's not gonna work. Hold on, y'all. All right, I'm back. Have to get that mask on. She has hers on. When we go in, don't touch nothing. I'm gonna do all the touching 
we are gonna sanitize our hands when we get back in the car. We don't touch nothing. Driving hubby's car. My car pulled up in the driveway. So yeah, y'all. Whew. Noodle bug. How I feel to be out. Weird. You said what? Weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> feel different, don't it? Yeah. Since you here, uh, I'll see y'all when I get a family dollar. All right, we are back out of Family Dollar. Get that little quick little run real quick. Whew. I tell y'all, tired, tired, okay? All right, turn that down, I wanna get copywritten. You all right, Buck? Yeah. You can take your mask off. Yeah, for Bug, she felt kind of weird. Just my camera. But, did good. Got you some air, girl. And yeah, my favorite bag of chips. And you got you some a big bag of salt and vinegar chips. That's this. All right. So, we are heading back to the house. I was going to go to Kroger. We should just go there. I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I am tired and don't feel like going nowhere else. I only wanted to run up here to get some garbage bags, which I still ended up spending $40 or well, $42. I got my boy some um, hoop shorts. For those that don't know what hoop shorts are, basketball shorts, but um, they was for $5. So I got, grabbed them some of those, something they can just, you know, pretty much lounge around the house in. And then I got Bud, like a little Puma t-shirt for $6. And some other little stuff. Do I have to share this? Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. So quick little family dollar run or whatever i did get a, okay i'm coming we in a rush the light had just turned green anyways before she was fully really interrupted anyways i did um take partake in the burlington um 50 off sale for the last couple of days 
past weekend and I ended up getting Baby Duke a lot of stuff for 50% off. Like, I got him a lot of sleepers because y'all know with my due date being in September, you know, it's going to be cold again. So, I got him a bunch of sleepers and things like that and a couple of other items. You know, I got the bottle warmer. Even though I'm breastfeeding, I still got a bottle warmer or whatnot for um, if I just want to give him a bottle or whatever, I can warm up the breast milk. So, I did get that and a few other items too. So, I'm still, you know, getting stuff and we still have our baby registry up. I'll make sure to drop the link in the description box. As y'all know, we are registered with Amazon. So, Make sure y'all check that out if y'all want to send Baby Duke something. Um, but yeah, I'm still in the process of finishing up, you know, getting things or whatever. Um, I'm trying not to do too much because we are moving. So we know for sure that we are moving. So I don't want to get a lot of stuff that bring to this house and then have to transport it. I just rather move and finish getting the little minor stuff like I did get his uh, car seat and stroller now I know a lot of people just want to ask why didn't I just keep the stroller or the car seat that I had when I had Bubba fortunately I ended up giving a lot of Bubba stuff and his car seat to my brother-in-law so when I try to get, cause they had a, you know, they had their, um, their baby or whatnot. So when I try to find a replacement for the actual stroller, it was hard to do. So I still have his stroller. I just, you know, gave my brother-in-law the car seat. So I just said, you know what? I'm not about to be trying to keep searching no other sites. Let me just go ahead and buy another one. Pretty inexpensive, got it from Walmart. And whatnot and I got the travel system and I got his little nursery set too because I already told y'all that I'm not doing the whole crib thing like we did with Bud at too much okay this is my fifth kid I've been around the way with having kids he'd be all right with the little pack and play nursery set it'll turn into an actual like bed or whatever so well not bed but I can take the bassinet part out and transform it so I'm not even no, and that was inexpensive. I got that from Target because it was on sale. So yeah, I'm not no, I'm not playing around. Um that's pretty much it. I mean, outside of that, a lot of people have asked if I'm having a baby shower, if I'm having um like a drive-by baby shower, because even though the stay-at-home order is uplifted, I still personally myself don't feel comfortable being around a whole bunch of people like you know be going around my my immediate family stuff like that i'll do that but when we talking about over 10 nah I, <laughs> I ain't ready for all that like i'm just i'm not ready for all that like love my fam whatnot but i don't know where everybody be going or been at so yeah, I, I'm still practicing social distancing. Sure is. So, no, I would not be having a baby shower. I talked to Mark to see if he wanted to do... Oh, it's my neighbor daughter's birthday today. You know the little girl that you met when we were walking? It's her little birthday today. That's cute. So, yeah, I'm not having no baby shower. You know, I don't... Mm -mm, like a... Or everybody come... I, I'm not doing that. I just feel like that's, you know, a little bit too much at this point. Um, it's just a little, it's a little bit too much to be doing all of that. You know, this is our fifth kid. We already know the main stuff that we had to get, which was the baby car seat stroller, the little nursery and stuff. I still got to get his diaper bag, you know, pack that up. But that's, that's small stuff to me. I already got that taken care of so i just feel like if it was our first kid second kid yeah having a baby shower um 
yeah i could see us having a baby shower for something like that but on your fifth kid um Mm, I, I'm just not <laughs> I'm just not feeling doing all of that I'm just gonna be real just not feeling being bothered with doing all of that me personally I'm not as y'all can see I'm seven months and I'm, I'm all set like I'm not in the mood for that that's pretty much with that like I said in my previous vlog the baby's gonna be set regardless um this is not my first go around so yeah as far as the name i still have not um asked king if he wanted to announce the name with me or did he care if i announced the name or you know right now he's in the back barbecuing for us so we about to eat good this evening um but yeah that's pretty much it so shout out to our new subscribers that we gotten also um, shout out to y'all and as I say in all of my vlogs stay safe cherish your loved ones love on them while you have a chance because tomorrow's not promised all right it's Mrs. King I'll talk to y'all later peace